What's good, y'all boys? I just wanted to give an update on like what I'm feeling and I feel like the what the shift has brought in for me specifically. So, you know, y'all know that all of this stuff has happened in December and all this stuff was going on in the in the ethers and all of that shit, right? So, I'm gonna tell you what I've been experiencing. A lot of shit is put back into my face, like things that I was procrastinating on uh things that i neglected things that you know i was supposed to have been already got done it's put it's put back to my face like the shit that i can get done the shit i sabotage the shit all of that is putting back into my face so i have to deal with it now and now i'm not pushing it aside this time i'm like okay now i gotta i gotta deal with it where i'm at with it though it's not that you know every everything is like uh, terrible or everything is all good and co aesthetic is not that it's that whatever wherever I was at that time wherever I am right now now I have to deal with it where I'm at and it's no more like lethargic lazy energy it's no more like oh you you got time you know energy it's not no more uh you know what I'm saying like oh you wait till later energy it's like nah I'm taking care of this shit right now or I got to deal with the consequences that I, you know, of my actions, of my self-sabotage right now. I got to figure out what I'm doing going forward from right now. It's no more like, you know, sulking in that space or uh, just like closing my eyes to I can't see, I can't see what's going on. It's none of that. It's like, all right, now I see where I'm at with it. I understand how I got here and what I did and what I didn't do getting in this space right now. I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not going to, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to take accountability for where I'm at. And now I have to take accountability for where I'm going to go. I can't avoid this space anymore because if I avoid it anymore, it's going to go crazy. And I'm like having to take accountability for like, you know, what I've manifested, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. And, you know, where I fell short and I have to pick up my pieces and put it back together to go, go forward i can't neglect it anymore and you know it's it's bittersweet because it's like well damn you did self you did sabotage a lot of shit you know what i'm saying like i'm looking at stuff i'm like well damn you know you waited way too long for this you know you you missed this deadline you did this wrong you know what i'm saying like but now at the same time i'm, I'm grateful for you know, being able to move now. Now I'm able to actually move and not, uh, you know, just put it in the back burner and not think about it too much and just, you know, like just focus on something else that, you know, make me feel better about the shit that I'm not doing. It's more so like, okay, now nah, we're, we're here with it. You know, I accept that we're here with it. I'm not going to like, you know, beat you up about it. I kind of should beat you up about it, but, you know, we're going to be grateful for where we at, and we're going to do what we need to do to to move forward and not to to dwell on the past. It's 2021 now, so we're going to leave 2020 in the past. We, we acknowledge what we did wrong. We got to change that now. We put an action towards going forward in a positive way, in a way that is conducive to growth and not trying to sabotage our growth and our future you feel me so that's what i feel right now that's the shift that i feel i feel more energy more uh a space to actually get stuff done and you know just taking accountability for everything that i'm where i'm at and putting the right building blocks in to to build towards a better future even in the space that i've like made a mess in you feel me uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's exactly how I feel right now. And I'm I'm taking gratitude in for that space because if I wait any longer, it's not going to be no good stuff. You feel me? Like, if I wait any longer for certain, certain things, like, I had to shit. Like, I had to face myself with some shit, bro. Like, like you know, I'm expecting the universe to just put it in my lap like here. You know, just come give it to me. Like, I know I didn't do no work for it. I know I self-sabotaged it. But, you know, I know I, I neglected it. I, I, you know, detached from it because I'm Aquarius. I didn't want to feel it. Didn't want to know. I can't see it. I know I did that. But just, just put it in my lap for me last minute like you always do. 
nah, it didn't happen. But now I'm like, okay, where I'm at with it right now, what can I do to go forward? Now I can take put the responsibility back in my own hands and be like, okay, now nah, this is what we manifested. This is the shit show. Now nah, what we do going forward? How do we correct this? How do we uh, work around this? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do we have to accept? What do we have to let go of? What do we have to start? You know what I'm saying? Like, progressive energy. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's change. Change is happening. And I'm accepting what I have to accept to go forward, to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing is detrimental. Like, anything I have, I don't need. And everything I have, I can let go of. So, I'm like, let me just see what happens. Let's just go forward. Let's just walk and see where we go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to do my best to, like, salvage where we at. And I see, I see good things in the future. So, I'm really happy about it. Like, at first I was like, well, damn, you know, you kind of, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 like, the last couple months in December, it was really hard, like, uh, suffering from, like, depression and shit, and, you know, like, up and down, it was just like a roller coaster. like, sometimes I was really high, I was really happy, and then sometimes I was just really low, and, like, didn't want to be bothered with nothing, like, it was really weird, the space I was in, it really depended on the day. And, um, so, now, um, I feel like I have more control, like, you know, sometimes I will feel bad, like, something will trigger me into, like, oh, the chit, you know, that 2020 feeling of, like, um, I'm about to, like, just let it disconnect from everything and just fuck everything, right? But then I'm like, no, I got to face this, let's see what we can do, like, let me take away my ego, take away my pride from this space, and, like, just look at it observe it from a space you know outside of me like you know so in the soul space where just observe and not judge it and see what options we have you know moving forward without ego and without you know pride you know what i'm saying like what can we do for real for real you know how can we salvage this yes you sabotaged it how can we salvage it um can we salvage it what do we need to let go of how do we move forward you know and actually putting the the work in to do that and not just sitting on it anymore and i i'm excited about this space so that's my my transformation my my uh thing is going on i like it because the yeah, i don't know i would literally sit on things for a long time out of like oh that god will will fit work it out and he would last minute you know right before the deadline i something would happen i'll I'll be good I can't do that no more. I passed the deadline two, three months ago. And I was like, I didn't even realize I did. And it was put in my face that I passed the deadline. And that shit, like, it, it my, like, my heart dropped in my stomach because it's like, yo, if I knew, I would have been on that. You know what I'm saying? But I was procrastinating. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't doing the research. I wasn't putting my mind, my focus in that space. And I missed a deadline and uh, a deadline that could make a break. Nah, it could, but it's like, all right, now what do we do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want to do moving forward? Do you want to uh, start over? Do you want to, you know, like, do we want to do something else? Do we want to uh, shift this this space? What do we want to do? Like, the yes, you missed the deadline. Like, yeah, you fucked it up. Mm-hmm. But now you're in a space where you observe it, you see it now. What are you going to do going forward? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you going to go forward? How are we going to move forward? Man, not trying to uh, go back into a depression for another two months, you know, because you fucked it up and or you fuck up type shit. No. Now, what do we do? You know what I'm saying? Like, action. Action. Nah, action. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah. I just wanted to say it because... That's the energy I feel right now. It's just the action energy. Like, okay, accountability and responsibility, and let's go now. Go go time. I feel like that's probably the Saturn and the Jupiter together. And I feel like if I stay in this energy and not allow myself to go revert back into my old energy of, you know, detaching from things until it 
fucked itself or I self-sabotage it to the extent where I can't re uh, revive it, then I'll be okay. Because this space that I'm going into, I cannot do that. You know, I can't um, wait, sit on things for a long time and just think that everything's just going to work out eventually. I got to make sure that I'm holding myself accountable for where I'm at in any space. So, yeah, that's it. I think I repeated that about 10 times, but you know, I need to get, get I gotta get into it. Get into it. I love you. Y'all, bye. I got some more videos coming for y'all today, so it's lit. Alright, bye. <laughs>